Welcome back to the Sick Texans WrestleCast here. Uh, join with me, obviously, is the one and only Mr. DC. Yep. And this Welcome. is Yeah, this is official WrestleCast. Yes, this is uh, verified by Twitter. Uh, yeah. Also verified by SoundCloud. Snapchat. Uh, yeah. Every single uh, company yeah. has verified this. So uh, pay no attention to the, the fakes out there. The fake WrestleCast, you know? <laughs> the fake WrestleCast, right, right. But anyway, we're going to go through the week of wrestling, of uh, whatever fucking week this is. Uh, uh, early November. Yeah. yeah. Early November. Raw SmackDown and uh, anything else we want to talk whatever, about. Whatever we want to talk about. Maybe some news by our uh, news, uh, official news accountant, uh, News Tista. News Tista, yeah. Uh, maybe he brought us some news this week. Have you checked with him? Uh, I heard it's a surprise, you know. Yeah, he's been working on so, something because we've been out for quite some time. Yeah. So he's got a lot in the uh, the bag for us. But anyway, I guess we'll start out with Raw. Raw. Yeah. So. Got uh, well, Kurt Angle. Being that that con- is how the show started out. Yes. <laughs> being confronted by the return of Stephanie. Yeah, Mac. So Man. Um, yeah, Mac, Mac Daddy. <laughs> oh Mac, shit, Mac, Mac Man. Man. I mean, I don't know if you'd call her Mac Daddy. Yeah, well, maybe not. I Mac- mean, Kurt Angle wouldn't call her Mac Daddy. No. Look at his face. He's fucking petrified. Yeah, you can see the, the intensity. Acting. Yeah, Kurt Angle. Would you like to comment about that? His his acting skills? His acting skills are up to par. Up to par? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some might say he uh, overdid it, you know? Oh, maybe. But he, he really didn't say much because uh, Stephanie was uh, screaming. Yeah, you like you, you get scared about that. Yeah. Or she does that. Does that intimidate you as a man? Yeah. Do you, what do you think Triple H thinks about that? Oh, he loves it. He loves it. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, actually, no. He, he's too busy uh, doing other things. Like what? What joining, would he be uh, doing? Well, I mean, he's joining some uh, groups. Oh, really? Yeah. What group would that be? Um, the Spirit Squad. Oh right, the spirit yeah. squad. Great, great faction there. Yeah. So, anyways. So yeah, uh, the first segment was uh, just you know Stephanie uh, getting getting over with the crowd. You know, right. Yeah. Voice. And this led to the first match of the night, which was a some would call it a big match. Some would call it a uh, a uh, you know. What do you mean by big match? Like. Oh man, I see what you're saying there. I see what you're trying to do by well, saying no, a big match. No, I I'm see just, what I'm you're wondering. trying to do, man. Like, like if it was a big show, but it's not the big show. <laughs> okay, it's, it's uh, not the big show. It's uh, who Bailey. Is, right? No, well, oh. yeah, it's Bailey and uh, Bailey and Nia Jax. Oh right, that was a big match. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that match? You know, you got Nia Jax. I mean, in, she, a, in a big match, and uh, she do a big nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, she did a big nasty move to Bailey. Yeah, it looks like a like a neck lock right there. Mm, yeah. Rest hold. Yep. As some would say. So, yeah. yeah she, I think I think uh, this match we should just ignore that this happened because you know, what, yeah. what's the point? All right, that's good. Reasonable. But anyway, no then one, we had a, a even bigger match. Oh. Samoa Joe. Right. Against Apollo Cruz. Yep. Apollo Cruz, <sighs> the guy who went to space. <laughs> Really? Yeah, man. Wow. And uh, <laughs> Samoa Joe, the guy from Samoa. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, he won. And Samoan won. Yeah, I mean, you know, Apollo Cruz is, is uh, he's got less overall than uh, than uh, Samoa Joe. He's got less reversals too. Yeah. Speaking of reversals, uh, you know, World of Glory. Right. Oh, you just want to jump to that? Right I now? mean, it's on the screen. You know, we gotta talk about it. So it uh, is. Yeah, it's on the screen right now. Have you noticed? Oh, really? I mean, yeah, I can't see the future, sir. Oh. Well, I mean, I could see it because I could see myself beating a couple noobs yeah, online, man. you know? Mm-hmm. You did pick up WWE 2K18 for PS4. Yeah. And, the uh, deluxe edition. Oh, okay. Not the oh. Cena one. Oh. oh, you haven't seen enough? No, I haven't. Nah. So you want to see more Cena? No. <laughs> All right, then. Well, anyway, so then how's that my career going? It's pretty good, man. Because it's uh, my career combined with Road to Glory. Yep. And so, we've uh, had a couple matches. What do you think? I think it's fun, like uh, beating 
couple jobbers. Really? Can you can you name any of them? Uh, let's see. Like uh, Baron Blade, <laughs> Buster Bruiser, uh, Skull Crusher Nine Thousand, Job Squad Eight Hundred. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. So uh, I think uh, you know the star system. Oh, you like the yeah. grind? Yeah, I mean, well, it's very grindy, isn't it? And maybe it's too much grind, you know? Yeah, especially for like a hat. Yeah, for a Undertaker top, yeah. you know, just for that. So. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, Moving swiftly on to the next match, we have IC Champion Miz defeat Matt Hardy. Mm. What do you think about that? Do you think Matt Hardy's still fat? <laughs> I mean, he could be. I don't know. I feel like he's lost some weight. Oh, yeah. But he's still uh, fat. Yeah. Okay. Miz lost? Yeah, Miz. I'm wait, sorry. Miz won. Was, no, he won. It. Yeah, he won. <laughs> I, was, I was just making sure you're paying attention yeah, to, Matt, to this. Yeah, Matt Hardy lost. Right, he did. You know? Yeah. So that happened. So is he getting buried? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We have a special guest. I just got scared, dude. I think News Tista just made it. Dude, well, it's here. about time. Yeah, man. News, Tista. What news have you brought us? Have you brought well, us maybe news? We'll find out once we get to that. Uh... Oh, man. Yeah. Did you put a bell on you, Tista? <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, Asuka defeated a jobber. Yeah, who, who is that? Oh, whoa. Calm it down, um, News, Tista. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. News, Tista, man. News, Tista. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so yeah. what do you think about this, uh, Asuka? Uh, I mean, she finally made it to the Raw roster. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I yeah. mean, especially now that they're down two women. Oh, right. That was, oh, I'm sorry, was that your, your segment? With your sister? Was that your segment? Were you, okay. <laughs> Interesting, Miss Tista. Um, yeah, yeah, so, uh, it's not the same, uh, you know, three women every week. I mean, at least they're decent, you know. Mm, yeah. But on Raw, who, who's the main three? Uh, you got Alexa, Alexa Bliss, you got... Sasha. And... I mean, Nia Jax. No, nah, on... Oh, Bailey. Yeah. That's right. it. Okay. But yeah, so... But did she do promos? Did she talk? Nah. Maybe, maybe, maybe she gets, like, a manager. <sighs> oh, yeah, like you Paul know, Heyman? Yeah, Paul Heyman. Dude, yeah. Paul Heyman would love to manage. That'd be interesting. Yeah, Paul Heyman, screaming. Who would be another good manager? Yokozuna? I think he's dead, man. Rip? Yeah. Okay. It, it was it was a slight joke. Anyway, Speaking this of, is the next yeah. big segment right here. Next big joke. I mean, uh, joke segment. I mean, we were really into you know Kane and Daniel Bryan for some time. Oh yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. But, but uh, oh, Tista needs to go. <laughs> Bye, News Tista. <laughs> The news just has to make it another important uh, yeah, news run. You gotta go bring us some more news. <laughs> yeah. He's gotta report on the scene. But anyway, back to what yeah, we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, so. Kane uh, attacked uh, DB in the back. Lights yep. turn off. But there was a big botch in the segment. Yeah, there was a, a phone. Which yeah. was on uh, the. Uh, where you dial the number. Mm -hmm. screen mm -hmm. and um, as, as you can see without with no sound that, that we won't get sued <laughs> I think we're already getting sued oh. it's fine it's fine oh, okay we have we have lawyers news Tista has us yeah that's good but yeah as many or has happened many times in the past you know uh, WWE doesn't take care of their oh. uh, technology yeah, they're not up to date on uh, how technology works. Right. And so when they're trying to uh, sell a segment, you know, they kind of leave very obvious mistakes mm. that people pick up on because they're super obvious. Yeah. And uh, DB was the uh, victim of this one. Yeah, because it's not like um, the 90s. Right. We had the big ass phone. Right, well, phone. You, we couldn't tell if someone yeah, was Yeah, you the could line. not tell at all. Yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah, they're still. Especially when, does he have a 6 plus, 7 plus, 8 yeah. plus? What does he have? 
What's a is a ten? Is it a plus though? Is it a big ass screen? Yeah, it's a big ass screen. As you, you know, with that right big there. ass screen right there. Oh, dude, there's what's that green button? Yeah, you can clearly see a green button. Why would there be a green button? Because uh, if you if you want to hang up, it, it's red. You know, so. So who is he talking to right there? Is he doing a voice memo? What's going on here? So who is he supposed to be talking to though? Oh, uh, I think Shane. Does he know that Shane's not on the other line? How do you know this wasn't a trap then? Daniel Bryan was trying to trick uh Oh really? Trying to trick Kurt Angle and then uh you know with a fake phone call. Yeah. Maybe it was supposed to be fake. It's so frustrating. This whole experience got for Shane and this uh. It's very frustrating, you yeah. know. Cause, yeah. uh, Did you get that not. those acting classes from Kurt Angle or <laughs> or no? Probably. <laughs> Pretty interesting yeah. how he held his phone in his hand while being choked slides. Yup. You didn't want to damage the phone. Also, look at this. Look, look how the poster in the back, just one of them is tilted. Damn. Oh, look at the lamp. Got knocked over. And the uh, end table. Oh, did he choke slam him onto the table? Yeah. And then I think his elbow hit the poster, wow. causing. It's a very empty room. It's like a table yeah. with a lamp. So, um. What a segment. Yeah. You know, really uh, gives you the uh, idea that Kane is very powerful. Can choke slam yeah, Daniel Bryan on the phone. Why do you think Kane is powerful? I mean, did he lose a certain election? I mean, he might have. But also, is Daniel Bryan's neck like all fucked up? Why is he getting choke slammed by Kane? Yeah. Couldn't he be paralyzed now for life? Because he got choke slammed by Kane. Yeah. Be careful. But anyway, moving on to the next match, we got uh, Finn Balor and uh, Cesaro. Yeah. In a match, is this is this uh, a big match? Uh, it's a it's a medium sized match. It's not as big. Yeah, why, why is Kane a part of this match? Uh, I don't know. Oh, is it because he uh, chokes down Finn Balor at the end? Hmm. Oh yeah. Kane is just like choke slamming everyone. You know? Yeah, man. It's almost like he's uh, pulling the Randy Orton. Just arc heroin everyone. Damn. When they did that uh, that meme. Oh. RK out of nowhere. I, th I think it's right. Look, look at this. Kane defeats Seth Rollins. Another choke slam. Is that the next match? Yep. <laughs> so he's, yeah. It's oh, turning into a meme. And, uh, we had a uh, commercial break where um, Heath Slater <laughs> and uh, Rhino. Uh, beat up some people. We don't know who they are. And uh, hollow in a what? All Hollows Eve trick and street fight. Wow, man! I've never heard of that match. I've never heard of this match. Nope. <laughs> so uh, moving on to the next thing that happened. Oh yes, Kurt Angle's son well, and. Uh, yeah. So what do you think about Elias? Uh. Think he's uh, not much because uh, his guitar skills uh, suck. I mean, you he know? gets cut off like in ten seconds every week, so it's not um, like it's not like he has like a full song. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty bad. Okay, I mean, he broke his guitar. I mean, it's rule oh. number one: you don't do that. Right. Uh, anyway, we had some cruiserweight action with Kalisto and Drew Gulak and. Uh, do you, okay. Well, one thing I'll say about this. Also, Enzo was there. Enzo was a. Uh, Garbage. I don't know, man. Like he's. I think he's like the only guy on the cruiserweights that I might know, because all the rest of them, like, who the fuck are they? Yeah, which is that. That's the same reason why he's champion. Yeah. Because like that's the only one you know. Like who's Drew Gulak? Exactly. Gulak. Exactly. Gulak. Like a yak. Yeah. What the fuck's a Gulak? Okay. Anyway, we had our second Divas match of the night, I believe. Unless you want to count. Uh, oh, Roman Reigns hasn't had a match. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Champion versus contender. What do you think about that? Um, I mean, we've seen this match before. Yeah, has it, hasn't this happened on SmackDown like a hundred times? Maybe. <laughs> All right. So Alexa Bliss won. Yep. Hey, she beat like how old is Mickey James now? Uh. She she. <laughs> like pretty old. She milf yet? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Next, we have uh, Braun Strowman. Yeah, Braun 
snowman. What the fuck's wrong with the Mrs. face? Yeah, it came out of the the trash can or whatever. Like, right? No, because they were leaving, and then he, he showed up from the trash truck. Oh, the, yeah. And then there was some bad acting by uh, the three the three Stooges. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this? So he took them back in, in the arena. Yeah. And then uh, put them through the announce table? You know, it's pretty interesting how they tried to sell it like he never got out. Oh, like he's been in there like for, for a week, yeah. Wow. Broad so much been in the back of a trash truck for a week. So he had to eat like leftover like You know, most people would be like, Hey, we need our fucking trash truck back so we can go pick up trash for whatever city we were in. You know? But uh, apparently not. They left him in there. And then they transported him in a trash truck to the next raw. Wow. So that was raw. That that is raw. I would rate it a two point two out of hundred and ten. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's that's wrong. What about SmackDown? I mean, SmackDown clearly started off with a bigger bang because uh, it was a bombshell dropped by Shane McMahon. Big bombshell. You know... Huge bombshell. I feel like Shane puts himself in all these matches, you know? Yeah. Like trying to put himself in the spotlight. A little too much. I mean, some would say too much. Some would say not enough. Really, like every single. Yeah, every I mean, you know, he could he could be world champion right now. Mm. You know, you know, every single WWE promotion might have your face on it. Like if you're a big tough guy, like some people, and you know, trying to give you the championship and you know, be taker at WrestleMania. Oh. Wait, when you super botch, you know. Yeah. It's not that bad. But he just wants to jump off shit. You know what I mean? He just wants to to jump off taller things. Be like Jeff Hardy. And, uh, you know, maybe smoke some ganja. Wow. But anyway, he announced yeah. that uh, he's going to be team captain, so he's going to go up against Kurt Angle. Oh, true. Interesting. Yep. Who's going to win, Kurt or uh, Shane? One-on-one. I, mean, I think Kurt. I'm going yeah, to well, go with Shane because uh, he's a McMahon. Yeah, but there's not a... He's a Mac-Man. I mean, Survivor Series match, which is not something you can jump off of. He could jump off the other four people. Oh, they, they all stand on each other's like yeah. shoulders? He could jump off Braun Strowman. Climbs and then... Yeah. Okay. Never thought of that, did you? Mm-mm. Anyway, we got uh, Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler. Uh, two out of three falls. So apparently, uh, Bobby Roode got him with two falls. Yeah. Did you watch this match, sir? No. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting. Um... I, I suppose we'll just say good. I'm glad Dolph Ziggler did not win. Yeah. Just fucked up. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then we had uh, Sin Cara. Uh, Baron Corbin. Right. So, like, Sin Cara, you know, he's a. Uh, Wait, but it says he defeated Sin Cara via disqualification, meaning. He suffered his second non title loss. After executing a savage attack, resulting in his qualification. Okay. I'll just say okay, because, I mean, it's in car, guys. Come on. And Baron Corbin, you know. Some mid-card action. But then, oof, we got the main event guys going over here. We got AJ and uh, Sam. Sam Singh. <laughs> Sam. In short, Sam Singh. Uh, for some reason, that looks like a S.H.I.E.L.D. member. <laughs> Between his legs... Uh, or know what's everyone dressing up like the shield. I mean, I, I see Waldo. See Waldo? Yeah, what the fuck's up with that? <laughs> Who is that fan? I don't know. Oh, what the hell? Screen shake. Anyway. So, uh, uh, yeah, Ginger Mahal. Right. You like Ginger Mahal? I mean, he's a world champ. I mean, he, I mean, he's been a jobber for his whole life. True, but now he's uh, going to fight Brock Lesnar, you know? That's not going to be a good match. No? I'm willing to put money that's not going to be a good match. Why? Why do you, why do you think that is? Because, you know, he's going to get suplexed, and then Brock Lesnar is going to be like, oh, hold on, I, my, my stomach's hurting right now. And he's going <laughs> like, to, like, fake that he's being hurt. Wow. You know? He's going to take some offense, and it's going to look real, like, awkward. And uh, it's probably going to be no pop, because I don't think anyone's going to be rooting for Ginger. Mm-hmm. And then Lesnar's just gonna suplex and game over, man. 
Really? Yeah. And then uh, these little scenes are going to be there. Oh, yeah, they're going to get promised. No, I guarantee 100% they're going to get involved. Okay, yeah. Oh, they're going to get... No, they're going to get double... Can you do F5 with, like, two of them on his... He might do on that. His, uh, shoulders. He might do that. Yeah. Super F5. Yeah. You know, that, that one of the scenes kind of looks like Warren Swallow. Really good. That one on the bottom <laughs> kind of looks like Warren Swallow. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. So um, he had uh, Biggie Langston uh, fight Rusev. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. Would you say it's his, it's finger licking good? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't, cause that's it's, uh, gross. Start about KFC, right. man. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, sh- Shins what? Nothing. Shinsuke. Nakamura Shinsuke Shinsuke right defeated uh, how do you how do you defeat KO man you're a big KO fan what yeah this? yeah I am so um, KO's not gonna be in Survivor Series then? what's he gonna do who's he gonna fight I don't know is he gonna I fight Randy Orton nah is he gonna fight Sami Zayn no they're 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 probably gonna like who's tag he gonna him fight? he needs a match can't not show uh, up let's see. Somebody on Raw. Is it going to be a big big twist where he's going to get on the team after all? You know what, probably. Because who else are you going to get? Uh-huh. Who else can, can SmackDown get? Uh, Maybe uh, Michael Cole. <laughs> Michael Cole. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, they could get Shane McMahon. <laughs> he count himself <laughs> twice. Dude, really? Yeah. Oh, they can get one of his sons? Yeah, they could get all three of his sons. Oh. Or I'm sorry, does he have two sons? Or does he have two sons? Fuck, I don't know. I guess he, maybe he has three. I mean, I just said that by accident. Oh. I just remember there was like a couple people dancing with Shane in the ring. Maybe it was two. Maybe they could get Goldberg's son too. They could just have Oh, like the <laughs> fucking one of the dabs? Yeah. <laughs> the dabber? But anyway, in our final new segment here, we have big big event that happened uh, we were mentioned it at the beginning of the show uh yeah where it happened happen? in uh Glasgow yeah Glasgow Scotland indeed we so, had so uh, uh, what happened sh- well you know Seth Rollins and Dead Dean Ambrose need a partner cause what the fuck happened to Roman Reigns he got like a uh, got butt fucked yeah okay, so he got butt fucked by a he has a uh, rhinoceros malaria or something yeah and so uh, they needed a partner. And who better than uh, the game Triple Odge, <laughs> who's been out of wrestling for quite some time. Yeah. Came in, not only uh, dressed up as the Shield, but then, uh, you know, almost almost like he filled in one for one. Oh. With, uh, and, uh, so, yeah, the, the spot. There was a spot in there, the match yeah. that was brought up. It's just a regular spot, like no big deal. It's just a dive. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it might as well be like a, su- a suplex, you know? It's pretty average. Right. But Triple H had a different reaction to a yeah. dive. Would so you say that yeah, you, you see three of them do a. Oh, fuck, that is loud. <laughs> okay. Cut that. All that. Yeah, you see um, the other two make contact with the dive. And then Triple H casually yeah, exits the ring. We're showing it to you here, right here. I'll yeah, he, he exits the ring. Yeah, take, take, a look. take a look. Then he does a fucking monster punch to Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt sells the hell out of that thing. <laughs> well, I mean, he's got to be waiting for quite some time. You know? Yeah. But yeah. Because, yeah, he's on the other side. But Triple H waves it off because he doesn't want to do that dive, you know, risk his neck. Mm-mm. That's not him. Yeah, wh- why you know, did the dive? He's willing to dress up like Roman Reigns, but he's not willing to do a, head, a dive. No mm. way. No way. Yeah. Apparently, you know. Darren Young. I mean, I'm sorry, 3D oh. was fired. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about that? I mean, it's news. News Tista brought it in. All right, so <laughs> three uh, females right. got fired. Kidding me? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Emma. Right. 
Which, like, I mean... I don't... I mean, they can't get her gimmick down. They're, like, so bad at that. Yeah, it's... I don't know what's wrong with it. It's, uh, yeah. Like, they gave her sunglasses. It's not a gimmick. Sorry. Uh, Darren Young. Who, uh... I mean... I never, I never really watched his Diva Division matches. <laughs> I don't really know who he fought. Did he fight, like, the Nine Jets? Or? Nah. I know he was teamed up with Titus O'Neil. Yeah. Like, as his partner. Yep. But partner, like, a tag team partner, not partner. You know. Well, I mean, you don't know that. Oh, well, yeah. You can't, you can't like, put words in his mouth. Okay. And, uh, finally, uh... Summary. Which uh, oh, man, hasn't been ha- about yeah hasn't been on TV for like two years. Yeah, well, so uh, they don't have a gimmick either. Remember when they were Fandango's dancing buddy? Yeah. And they randomly became a deal. Yep. That's interesting. What happened to Fandango? Oh, he's on SmackDown doing fucked up like weird like ripoffs of like current day TV shows. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to see a a Seinfeld. I'm sure they'll get to that at one point. You think so? Maybe they'll do the Friends. And then maybe they'll do, uh, what else? The New Japan gimmick? New Japan? Yeah. You know, maybe they'll dress up like, uh, princesses, you know? Oh. That's the week. That is the week of, uh, early November. Yeah. Unless you want to talk about, uh, GFW and Jeff Jarrett and, like, I mean, um, you, you tell me about Jeff Jarrett. All right. I heard he's got an alcohol problem. Is this true? Yeah. Do we need to take him to therapy? I'm not therapy. Counseling. All right. So Jeff Jarrett allegedly wrestled drunk for promotion in Canada. Oh really? Yeah. Triple mania. Is that is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Why did it say incident and then? So wrestling drunk man. Pretty dangerous, right? I mean, it's not it's not the most dangerous thing I've heard, but really? it's pretty bad. I'm not really a big Jeff Jarrett fan. Man. Oh, really? No. But like, you know, he's a uh, he's like a top baby face right now. He's a baby face. I mean, he's on TV all the time, dude. Come on, how can you not be a fan of him? <laughs> I mean, I don't watch GFW. You know. Oh. I, I watch TNA. This is the unofficial return. This is more like the test return. The get back in action return, the uh, practice match, the NXT, uh, you know, takeover match. But uh, we should be back on our game soon with Brad, with actual breaking news, with uh, commentators, entrances, and uh, you know, with guests. Yes, yeah, some surprise guests. Oh yeah, lots of guests. Some uh, interviews with. Uh, Celebrities. Of course. Um, what else? Some live reactions. Like yeah. the time we went to go pick up Jim Ross. Exactly. That was, that was a drive. That, that took a lot. Yup. Yeah, that was crazy. But anyway, we'll see y'all next week with another podcast. Till then, DC would like to say goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, um, farewell. Yep. Yeah, check us out on uh, SoundCloud, YouTube. Now you gotta check us out on iTunes. iTunes, Spotify. Spotify? Yeah. No, we're not there yet, man. Oh. Well, you know, not yet, but we will be. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Just be careful with your Spotify account. No, I'm going to get hacked. Yeah, man. It, it's a uh, look. look. You know what? No, that, I'll say that for next week. We'll say that for next week. We don't want to go on a big rant here. Yeah. About a service that we're totally not sponsored by.